I know a lot of you guys were asking for a Forge tutorial for my split screen video, and so here we are. Let's get this started. Assuming you know how to get to the Modrith app, you've got it open here. You're going to click the plus sign. Of course, you're going to select Forge because that's what we're going for. We're just going to make sure we name it. Go to game version. Now, the only version that the mods I found work on is 1.21.1. So here we go. Let's go ahead and create the instance. As for our mods, which we are going to install, we need to install the controller support mod. Now this is where I ran into my first issue when I was making this video because it installs Unilib. We need Unilib, but it gives us a version that is really not going to work for us. We're going to go ahead and switch it to 12.0.7. This is going to do much better. We're also going to install in-game account switcher. This is the configuration that I got that works. Since I want player two to have the controller, I'm going to change this to player two. Perfect. And then I'm gonna create one more. Same version. For me, since Player 1 is going to not have a controller, it's going to be keyboard and mouse. I only need to install the account switcher. Now we're going to go ahead and launch both of them. Awesome, luckily I didn't have any crashes this time, that's a plus. Let's go ahead and switch these to offline mode. Awesome, as you can see, they are both offline usernames. I've actually already got my controller connected, so let's see if it works. Not yet. Let's go into options for the controller side, and we're going to go to our settings. and. I notice, uh, so I'm using a switch controller, so I've had to actually install a program called Better Joy, this thing, <laughs> and it's not perfect, let's just say that. But I noticed that I think this is the wrong one, so I have to make sure it's on this one. I'm going to enable that, and yes, it works. Since I'm borrowing a switch controller, that's the workaround that I need to do. <laughs> it's quite annoying, but it works. Now that it's all set up this way, I'm going to go ahead and create a world. And we'll do the same thing we did in the other video. Open to LAN. Join it from the other side. Awesome, and now I've got my controller working and I've got the other side working. Keyboard and mouse right here. Awesome, it works. Thanks for watching, see you next time.